Arkham Asylum, The Final Showdown. Gotham City, New Jersey, early March 2019. Five hours into the Arkham riots and Batman has been busy trying to stop everybody. He has just defeated Harley Quinn and saved Warden Sharp and gained the master control code to get access to everything on the island. Oracle chimes in and she says, Batman, come in. The drone has just picked up some serious heat signatures coming from the greenhouse. Looks like they're really busy in there with something. Batman says to Oracle, That's where the Titan manufacturing facility is at, hidden somewhere in the greenhouse. I'm on my way over there now. Then Oracle says to Batman, Be careful, Batman. I think, if I remember correctly, I heard them say that's where they keep the genetically modified plants that are confiscated from Poison Ivy whenever she's captured. Batman says to Oracle, It is true. They do put the confiscated genetically modified plants of Ivy in there. Plus, Ivy was let out by Harley Quinn, so more than likely she's in there right now trying to claim her plants. Oracle responds back, Oh, that's just lovely, Batman. If this night can get any better. Batman lets out a smile and runs off to the greenhouse. Batman arrives to the greenhouse a few minutes later, and in the main entryway, in the lower parts of it, it was completely flooded with water, and at the other end was the Joker. He had a guard hostage with a knife pointed to his throat, and he says to Batman, Batman? You're early. Oh well. Anyways, don't move, Batsy, or else I'm gonna kill this guy. And Batman says, Don't, Joker. Let him go. And then the Joker kicks in some sort of smash electrical device into the water, and the water becomes electrified, and he says to Batman, Okay, Batsy, as you wish. And the Joker pushes in the unfortunate security guard, and he falls into the electrified water and gets killed. Batman was upset, and the Joker runs off. Then Batman pulls out his zip launcher gun and zips across the electrified water. As he lands on the other side, he runs chasing after the Joker. He finally arrives to the old aviary where the Joker ran to. And the aviary was crawling with the Joker's men. And the Joker comes on overhead. Alright guys, listen up and listen up good. The Batman is on his way here. Remember what I told you. If you see him, kill one of the hostages. <laughs> Batman uses detective mode to see how many of the hostages there were and how many of Joker's men they were. There were very few of Joker's men, only five this time, but there was also five hostages, two on the ground, and three inside giant bird cages that were suspended over a pretty much bottomless pit. So Batman goes and takes down the guys on the lower levels first. Then he moves up, takes the guys on the mid-level, and then he gets to the higher point where the room that controls the chains that held up the giant bird cages was at. Then he goes up and he takes out the final guy. Afterwards, he operates the controls and lowers the cages and frees everybody. The hostages were two nurses, two doctors, and an orderly, and they all thanked Batman. Now Batman had to find the secret entrance to the Titan production facility. Then Oracle chimes in and she says, Batman, listen, I found the location of the Titan production facility. It's just left of you. It's maybe midway up, there's a hidden door there that leads to the production facility. Of course, there's a security code system to get in, but I'm sure you can get through it now, said Oracle to Batman. Batman acknowledges Oracle that she was right, and then he goes to where the location the secret entrance was. He pulls out the cryptographic sequencer and begins to hack the lock.
and run through the catwalk to the other side. In the processing facility was a glass floor that had genetically modified plants grown underneath there. Batman then figured out they were using genetically modified plants to make the Titan, namely Poison Ivy's genetically modified plants. Very smart of Dr. Young, said Batman in his mind. Then he saw the Joker and his men there loading the barrels full of Titan on dollies and hauling them away. The Joker turns around and says, Well, Batsy, I didn't expect to find you here so soon. Oh well. Anyways, he says, I have something here that'll keep you busy. Suddenly, the Joker pulls out a gun and he shoots his two henchmen with darts. Suddenly, Joker's two henchmen said to the Joker, Hey, boss, what's the big idea? Suddenly, they saw themselves as they began to transform. As you could hear the bones crunching and the flesh making noise, they were getting bigger, muscular, until they turned into titan monsters. And now, they were completely mindless. And the Joker was gone. And they turned their attention to Batman, and the monsters let out a roar. The first of the Titan henchmen comes after Batman. Batman repeated the same trick he did with Bane. He quickly threw the Batarang and leapt out the way. The Batarang hits the Titan monster in the head, disorienting him. But he had such a momentum and speed from charging that the monster collided head-on with full force and speed against the giant tanks of the titan formula on the wall it lined the entire facility well the collision caused a massive explosion that destroyed the titan charged fiend and caused a whole chain reaction of explosions with the other tanks Batman quickly runs to the entrance where he came in at, and the catwalk bridge retracted. Now there was a giant chasm, a fall into nothing that's separating Batman from the other side, and an explosion that was getting big. And a very frightened and angry Titan monster that was coming at him full speed. Batman quickly pulls out his line launcher, shoots it, and zips across the chasm. Batman makes it safely to their side as the second Titan monster running after him and also trying to escape left but missed and fell to its death. Batman decides to run where Poison Ivy was hiding at within the greenhouse. The place where they stored all the genetically modified plants including the ones that Dr. Young made for the Titan formula. As he went into the chamber Poison Ivy says to Batman Welcome, Batman. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. Then Batman asks Poison Ivy, All right, Ivy, how do I stop the Titan formula, or neutralize it at least? You know, because Dr. Young used a genetically modified plant from your strain of genetically modified plants to make the Titan-producing plants. Poison Ivy says, Yes, Batman, I am aware, and I heard it through the grapevine that Dr. Young paid for it with her life and ivy lets out a big smile when she said that and she says to batman well batman the root of the special plant is within the sewer system namely the area where they keep killer croc imprisoned at batman his mind said oh great and then batman just turns around and leaves ivy and ivy says oh what's wrong batman no goodbye not even a little kiss from me then Batman turns around, walking backwards, and says to Poison Ivy, Lie to me, Poison Ivy, and I will kill every last plant in this greenhouse. Then Batman turns back around. As he walks out, he grabs one of the flowers from a vine and yanks it out violently, causing Poison Ivy to get angry, screaming murderer at him. As Batman was about to exit the greenhouse, suddenly there was a violent earthquake. Batman knew this was not an ordinary earthquake. Suddenly, giant 
plant vines come ripping out throughout the walls of the greenhouse, and they also began popping up and growing all over the island. They were massive and giant. Batman exits out of the greenhouse, and he sees the giant plants all over the island. They were towering taller than the buildings in the island, and he saw two giant, what looked like, seed pods. And, but these were not ordinary seed pods. Batman says in his mind, Oh no, those are those spore plants that she made last year that killed a lot of people in Gotham City. And they're growing on this island like crazy. Just great. Just what I need, said Batman in his mind. Then Oracle chimes in and she says, Batman, what's going on? The drone feed and the surveillance satellite show there's giant plants growing all over the island. Batman briefly relays to her what was going on with Poison Ivy and her getting her hands on the genetically modified plants. He also explains to Oracle how he has to go into Killer Croc's lair to find the root of the plant to get the sample to create the antidote against the Titan formula. Batman eventually makes his way down to the sewers, especially the part where Killer Croc was imprisoned at. As he was getting close to the area, he sees a scarecrow, and the scarecrow had a giant sack with him, and he sees Batman, and he says to Batman, Don't come any closer, Batman, or else I'm going to drop this sack into the water, and you don't want this in the water. Once it's in the city's water, it's going to cause everyone to kill each other with fear. <laughs> As the Scarecrow was making his threat, he was unaware that in the waters was coming Killer Croc. And Killer Croc jumps out of the water behind him, grabs the Scarecrow, lifts the Scarecrow up, and the Scarecrow lets out a blood-curdling scream as Killer Croc lets out a roar and jumps back in the water. Batman didn't even make any effort to save Scarecrow. He let Killer Croc have him. So Batman ventures into Killer Croc's lair. He finds the root and collects a big sack of spores. And soon he escapes, but he barely escaped as Killer Croc emerged from the water and ran after him. But Batman was able to skate with some quick thinking on his part. Now he had to go back to his satellite bat cave and use what he found to synthesize an antidote. At the satellite bat cave, Batman was able to synthesize the antidote. Unfortunately, it didn't make enough, and it would take a long while for the machine to make another one. He had to make do what he got, and he put it in a syringe gun and put it in his utility belt. And then he goes over to a workbench, grabs a few parts, and breaks out his grapple gun, and he modifies a grapple gun with three grapple hooks and a more powerful motor that could launch the grapple hook and rope farther and can pull it with a lot more strength than the standard motor did. Afterwards, he puts that on the side of the utility belt. Then Batman feels another earthquake, and Oracle chimes in. She says, Batman, Poison Ivy's plants are getting bigger, and they're sprouting out more and more, and they're in danger of hitting the river. If they hit the river, Batman, says Oracle. Batman tells Oracle that he knows what's the consequence if they hit the water. And then he runs back to the greenhouse to face Poison Ivy. But before he left the auxiliary bat cave, he pulls out a special herbicide that he made to kill Poison Ivy's special plants. Then it was onward to the greenhouse for a final showdown with Poison Ivy. Eventually, Batman makes it to the greenhouse where it was destroyed by the giant plants. And as he goes inside, the vines retreat, almost as bidding Batman to follow them. Poison Ivy is heard echoing throughout the greenhouse, saying, Come on, Batman. Come and get me. I'm ready. As he gained closer to her lair, suddenly, Batman sees a couple of the security guards that he rescued earlier. They were under Poison Ivy's control as he notices that their eyes were glowing green. And Poison Ivy says, Don't worry, Batman, I have security myself. Well, the 
guards under Poison Ivy's influence go attack Batman, but Batman makes short work of them. Afterwards, he makes it back to Ivy's lair, where Poison Ivy says, Well, Batman, you think I was going to let you stop me and stop my special plants? Batman says to Poison Ivy, I came prepared, like I always do when I fight you, Poison Ivy. As Batman was reaching for the herbicide in his utility belt, suddenly Poison Ivy's thorny vines wrap around Batman, lifting him up in the air, poking him and squeezing the life out of him. Poison Ivy mocks Batman. What's wrong, Batman? Didn't you forget? Every rose has its thorn, and this rose is thornier than anything, she says. Batman was struggling to survive as he was moaning in pain. <coughs> then he breaks the herbicide free and drops on the ground, and the herbicide releases its gas. Poison Ivy freaks out as she saw the herbicide spraying out of the capsule, and Batman says to her, Yes, every rose has its thorn, but every gardener has pruning shears. The powerful herbicide starts to take effect, and Poison Ivy's thorny vines let Batman go, as Batman sees all the genetically modified plants dying off in the chamber. Poison Ivy says, no, Batman, no, you murderer! You murderer! She goes after Batman. Batman quickly gives her a right hook, knocking her out cold. Soon, all the genetically modified plants around the island die off quickly. Batman quickly subdues Poison Ivy when she was out cold by tying her wrist and ankles together. Batman then exits the greenhouse, and he sees fireworks in the sky. And then he hears the Joker overhead saying, Hello, Batman. Hello. If you could hear me, why don't you come over to the visitor center? I have a big party surprise for you. <laughs> After Batman hears the announcement, then Oracle chimes in and she says, Batman, listen, I got some good news and I got some bad news. She says to Batman, then she says, here's the good news, Batman. It turns out all those bombs that the Joker planted all over the city were just big duds one of the bombs that the bomb squad defused just had nothing but marmalade and puppies inside and the bad news she says batman is that no one hasn't seen the commissioner since the riot started i know you got him off the island she said but no one has not seen him since you got him off the island batman knew in his mind that meant one thing the commissioner was abducted and taken back to the island he's somewhere in this island and batman thinks he knows where he's at Batman eventually makes it to the visitor center, where he hears that Joker was blasting some good classic 90s alternative over the loudspeaker, and the remaining members of the Blackgate inmates were there, and party hats, blasting party favors, and cheering on Batman. They were letting him through. They were not fighting him. Probably orders of the Joker. As Batman made his way through from the cheering crowd of goons he enters the visitor center and at the end of the hall was the joker sitting down or a mannequin of the joker sitting down with a television on his head then the television has an image of the joker there saying hello batsy sit down take off the mask let's talk but batman just stares ahead not responding back then the mannequin uncrosses his leg it was not a mannequin, it was really the Joker with an old CRT TV on top of his head. He pulls off the TV and laughs at the Batman, revealing to Batman that he was here the whole time. And then he puts the TV down on the chair and runs off. Batman looks as the TV screen suddenly displayed a giant red countdown clock. Batman ran and then there was a small explosion. Well, Batman had moved far enough from the blast. The blast took down the windows and the couple of the walls. Batman ran through the hole in the wall and saw where the Joker was hiding out at. He had mannequins and everything stacked up high in a chair there on the top like a throne. And a couple of his goons come attacking Batman, but Batman makes short work of them. And indeed, Batman's hunch was right. The commissioner was there, chained, 
And the Joker was taunting Batman, saying, Ah, dear Batman. It's hard to find good people you could trust nowadays. Well, that's why I got the commissioner here. I had him for about several hours now. And I was waiting for you to arrive, dear friend, so you can witness the commissioner become infused with my new Titan formula. <laughs> <laughs> then the Joker pulls out a dart gun and shoots a commissioner with a dart filled with the Titan formula and it injects into the commissioner batman quickly runs towards the commissioner takes out his syringe gun with the antidote and quickly injects it into the commissioner's jugular completely subduing the effect and the commissioner was saved and the batman quickly undid the chain around the commissioner's neck freeing him and he turns to the joker and says it ends tonight joker no more games no more laughs i'm going to take you down once and for all the joker then taunts batman how he used the only formula to save the commissioner and then he turns the dark gun on himself and shoots himself and injects the titan formula into himself and then the batman and the commissioner watch in horror as the joker mutates into a giant monster of a man meanwhile over in the island, a news helicopter flies overhead just above the visitor center where Jack Ryder was reporting on what was going on. He said on the rooftop of the visitor center was what looks like an arena there with electric fencing and other stuff. And suddenly, the monstrous Joker climbs through the roof holding the Batman like a rag doll and then throws Batman onto the arena. Now Batman was on the makeshift arena and the remaining members of the Blackgate gang that joined the Joker ran out to fight Batman with pipes, bats, anything they had with them they could find laying around. Of course, Batman made short work of them and then the Joker was taunting him and Batman quickly pulls out his Ultra Claw, the modified grapple gun that he made in the auxiliary bat cave and he shoots the triclawed ropes at the giant monstrous joker's flesh and hits the reel button as it began reeling batman also with his augmented strength from his bat suit then gives a tug and the giant mutated titan joker falls onto the arena but because of his mass and weight he falls through the floorboards of the roof and then falls onto some power conduits and gets a nasty shock after the joker receives his shock he gets back up the Batman quickly looks around for anything he could use and he finds a lead pipe next to one of the felled goons then he grabs the lead pipe and then he takes out his gel explosive sprayer and only had one canister left and Batman emptied the entire canister onto the tip of the lead pipe. The Titan Joker comes after Batman and Batman runs and draws the pipe back and decides to hit a home run with the Joker. As he hits the Joker in the head with the lead pipe, he detonates the explosive gel and there was a huge explosion. The Joker goes flying back. As he falls on his back, the Titan Joker begins quivering as he loses consciousness and Batman watches as he shrinks back down to size. The effects of the Titan formula wore off. He was back to normal. Then Batman makes his way back down as the police and SWAT team take control of the island. It was a long, hard night. It was 3 o'clock in the morning and he was tired. He goes up to the commissioner and the commissioner says to him, Sorry about your car, Batman. I can give you a ride back to the mainland. Batman says, No, Jim. I'll be fine. I have one on the way. Then the commissioner says to Batman, Go home and rest, my friend. You've earned it for tonight. Then after the commissioner said those words, he hears over the police radio, Attention all available units. Attention all available units. 
bank robbery in progress at Wells Fargo on Par and New Haven Avenue. Repeat, bank robbery in progress at Wells Fargo on Par and New Haven Avenue. Suspect identified as Two-Face. Repeat, suspect identified as Two-Face. Then the Batman says to the commissioner, When I get Two-Face, then I will declare this night over. Take care, old friend. The commissioner hears a low-flying jet coming in and also slowing down. It was obviously the Bat-Jet. Soon the Bat-Jet flies overhead and Batman grabs his grapple gun and grapples to it and it pulls him up. He gets on board, takes it off autopilot, and flies towards Gotham City. As he flies across the river, nearby the docks is a canister of the Titan formula floating in the water. Suddenly, a giant hand and arm come out of the water. It was Bane. He survived getting hit by the Batmobile, and now he grabs on to the Titan formula. This may not be over. Like and subscribe. The end.